Coming at you full fledged. It's your boy Rage Man Rich with another video for y'all, man. Welcome, YouTube. We are officially out of the dog days of the off season, and we are in the present of opening night of the NBA. Now we got two uh blockbuster matchups. Uh, the first one, of course, is about to occur as we speak. The defending NBA champion Boston Celtics will be facing the new look Knicks. The star duo of point guard Jalen Brown and newly acquired Carl Anthony Towns. Now, you want to call it just or not, the bigger story in some, most people's mind, you know, most people follow us. <laughs> Uh, is the, not even, not even the Lakers versus Timberwolves. Not even the game, but two personalities in the game being Bronny James and LeBron James Jr. A lot of people don't like to call him that, LeBron James Jr. And his father, LeBron James Sr., now, that's not really going to be the topic of this video. We already know. We are, we, we've been covering it for years now. This is just the culmination. He, this is just the culmination. The biggest, the big, well, the climax. Not even the, yeah, the climax, culmination, same thing of this storyline. One of them. He's going to play. We there. But. The topic of this video is the possible history LeBron James can make in this game. Now, more often than not, the media loves the cover when LeBron James breaks a record. I mean, we just saw it, was it last year or the year before, when he broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's scoring record? All-time points in NBA history, they stopped the game. Lakers versus OKC, they stopped it. Kareem handed him the ball. He did his speech, and he followed by losing the game. <laughs> he followed by losing it. But this record here, I don't think they're going to be so quick to report this. If LeBron James misses seven shots in this game, he will be the all-time leader in missed shots in NBA history. Field goal attempts, bricks. He will be the king of bricks. Now, the host of that record now is fellow, in some people's minds, fellow, because some people think LeBron James is a Laker great. Fellow Laker great, arguably the greatest Laker of all time, shooting guard Kobe Bryant with 14,481 missed shots. Now, the fascinating thing about this record, and I've, I've, I've covered this to an extent in previous videos, but not this specific record. The fascinating thing about this is we know Kobe Bryant is uh, the greatest bad shot maker of all time, the greatest streak scorer of all time, can get very hot in that same breath. He can get very cold. He has never shot over 50, 50% 50 uh, in a season for his career. He has had very terrible scoring efforts in the same light as his highest 81-point effort. In LeBron James' case, he has averaged over 50% in a season several times. He averages over 50% for a career. He's a very 
strategic score. So one might ask, how is he about to be the all-time miss shots record holder? And it's easy. The answer is easy. This is the most, this record, the all-time miss field goal attempts record, in my opinion, is the biggest record that shows LeBron James is a stat pattern. Because if you making most of your shots, well, this also goes into his longevity. This is where longevity hurts you. Also, Kobe Bryant played 20 years. We know LeBron James is in his 22nd season. When you play long, well, when you play long in both these styles, this is where it's going to get you. When you play a very aggressive, selfish, one may say, to a more extreme extent, sociopathic style like Kobe Bryant, for 20 years, you're going to miss a lot of shots. And that's why he has number one. In LeBron James's case, when you play a very calculated, inorganic, and, hmm, what's the, uh, tyrannical style of play, and it sometimes is, and a lot of times, more often than not, it don't turn out your way, some of those high scoring efforts, garbage points are going to be accumulated when the win is already solidified early in the game. A lot of comeback efforts. You got to look at the way he was getting it. Was it garbage points? Was it in comeback efforts? Remember, remember that almost 50-point triple-double he put up in game one of the 2018 finals? And J.R. Smith, Henny Smith did that crazy stuff. Then he had a chance to make a put up a put up a record. You know LeBron James like to put up a record. He had a chance to put up a record, continue to score. He had 50 in regulation. They went to overtime after JR did that. He quit. He quit. He quit. And he didn't chase the record. That got in his head. That's an example right there. I can name other examples. But let's let's name some other examples, actually. Let's name some other examples. Uh we can name the the example when he passed Kareem Abdul Jabbar, even or even more recent one. He got he got the record and he played kind of pedestrian for the rest of the game and they took the L. Even AD, we seen the video on social media. AD said, you got to stop breaking records because every time you do, we lose. So, my question is, will the record be broken tonight? Will Laker fans, real Laker fans, Address this record because if you got to address this record, you also got to address the previous holder of it. And I don't really think that I know, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about Kobe Bryant in a certain light, but again, this is a more te- this and not only, not only is this record the m- more telling record that LeBron is a stat pattern. This record shows, in my opinion, also, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again, that LeBron James and Kobe Bryant are two of the most overrated all-time great players in NBA history. Nobody outside of Kobe Bryant in consensus, consensus to everybody, I'm not saying me, I'm saying consensus because that's what most people go by. Kobe Bryant is a top 10 player. Nobody else 
in the top 10 outside of Bill Russell. And I can, let's digress right there because a lot of people going to say that. Well, let me bring up the point. A lot of people say Kobe Bryant is a top 10 player. Nobody outside of Bill Russell in the top 10 has a career, has a career field goal percentage less than 50%. Bill Russell may, maybe, but you have to look at the, uh, you have to look at the, uh, team averages of field goal percentages when he was playing. He was playing above average. Bill Russell was a center. Bill Russell was a defensive oriented center. He was a, he was putting up triple, he was putting up quadruple doubles unrecorded quadruple doubles as well, so it's not even the same. Kobe Bryant is a guard. We know how he plays. Kobe Bryant has never done that. That's unprecedented. In LeBron James's case, nobody ever has averages outside of him has averaged literally probably after today has averaged over a career over averaged over 50% for a career and scoring most of his field goal attempts and missed this many shots. So, just look out for that. I will be. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do y'all agree? What does what does this record show to you? Is it just a record? Is it is it just a, a longevity record? What is it? What does it mean to you? Let me know. But first, hit that like button. Comment at the beginning, middle, and end of the video. Share for others to see. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop. And enjoy opening night.